to win a war, you need the right stuff. Clothes, food and weapons. Those are the essentials. So how well equipped was the British soldier in 1914? British forces had lots of different uniforms and equipment, but the most iconic uniform of all was worn by the British infantryman on the trenches of the Western Front. So there it is, the British infantryman ready for action. But just how ready? The British infantryman went into World War I as the best prepared soldier on the planet. Let's take this for example, the Lee Enfield rifle. The Brits were famously fast and accurate using this rifle. It could take 10 rounds in the magazine. The British built 4 million of these during the war. They were in service for years after. This was the best rifle on the Western Front. Now, instead of gaiters, the British had the ingenious idea of putties that they brought over from their experience in India. They'd wrap these right around the lower leg and that would keep your legs dry and also provide a lot of support as well. One of the biggest challenges for any soldier in the past or the present is carrying the sheer amount of kit they need to keep themselves alive and take the fight to the enemy. Now the British soldiers with the 1908 pattern webbing just slipped over the body like this and it allowed them to carry much of what they needed into battle. A water bottle here, ammunition here and here, and my bayonet, 17 inches of sharpened steel, right here. Hidden around the back, the entrenching tool, or a spade to you and me, simply drop that in there. This allowed British soldiers to get themselves out of trouble if they're being shot at by immediately digging a mini hole in the ground and getting themselves out of harm's way. Now the British kit was good, it wasn't perfect. Now this is a cloth cap, it's a good bit of camouflage, but obviously it provided no protection against high velocity shrapnel. And that's why about halfway through the war, steel helmets were issued to all the British troops. But believe it or not, this was still a lot better than what the French and Germans had. The German pickle horn. It's made of leather and it provided an obvious target for marksmen. And if Britain had the best prepared soldiers, no prizes for guessing you wasn't too far behind. But if the German kit wasn't as up to date as the British, they did have one major advantage. There were over four million of them. At least German battle dress was fit for fighting in a 20th century war. In 1914, one army soldiers were color coordinated more for the Parisian runways than the trenches. Ooh, la, la. It's not that the French military hadn't heard of khaki, but lots of countries were unprepared in 1914 and couldn't produce tons of new kit overnight. Sometimes you've got to make do with what you've got. The British Army's bang up to date uniform and weaponry was down to its battle hardened experience, just as well, because they would need every advantage they could get. 